I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. So, all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. to save his people. Look at how America treats Black Hispanics and Native Americans. In the so-called land of the free and home of the brave, they have Hispanic children in cages. They have two million black men in jail. How many more cases they got coming out that this brother was locked up for 15 years and he was innocent? Those cases are more common than white men like to believe, but they believe us to be criminals. And this is why God is sending us back a savior because America is not equipped to save us. America profits on our destruction. They profit on our downfall. That's why the CIA put drugs in the black community and then turned around and called us crack babies and crackheads. When they were the ones who put the crack in the black community in the first place. These people that are rule over us are absolutely wicked, man. And they are not fit to rule anything. The earth is in turmoil because the white man runs the earth. The animals going extinct? Come on, come on, come on. Excuse me. You, you said this sign was true? So you know all about Margaret Sana? You know all about Margaret Sana? Yeah. So, so do you understand that what she did was directly towards reducing the population of black people? So you agree with that? So even till this day, do you all understand that our stance against the government is not racial or against your people on that race, not even that. This is about an effort, an attack on our people yeah. that's systematic. You agree with them? Yeah. See, that's how I, I can respect you, you're honest. Most most people of your race don't ever agree right. with something like that. Right. They say, you know, we have nothing to cry about, everybody's equal, equal opportunity, which is BS. That, what was done to us, is genocide, and it's still genocide today. Do you agree we should have our separate, um, Space in America? A separate space? Yeah. I don't know. A separate space. Black people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You any of you all agree with it? I don't know what you mean. A separate space, just like it, right now, where are you guys? What's this place called? That's what the city is DC, but it's called Chinatown. This is a separate space for Chinese people. And Chinese people can have their culture, their language. Yeah, but other people can be here too. Other people could be here, but this is this is this benefits the Chinese community directly. Yeah. Right or wrong? Yeah. They didn't pick cotton. They, <laughs> they, they didn't pick cotton. They didn't pick cotton. Yeah. They didn't they didn't fight in your wars, right? Right. So where's our tongue? Yeah. Right or wrong? Yeah. No, I think that's fine. You, you think it's fine? I agree with I that. Think I, I think But everyone is not welcome here. No, your money is welcome. Because oh, this is Chinatown. No, okay, there's, there's all sorts of nations living here. But the Chinese Association has economic deals with every city they, they're in that a certain amount of the economic pie goes to their people. And they have certain concessions with business loans and school loans that other nationalities may not get. So you could come and spend money down here, but you can only property. But what I'm saying is, it's designed to help their community directly. 
Like, have you ever seen a sign called Chinese Lives Matter? <laughs> or No Justice, No Peace written in Chinese? Because they don't have to do that. They could take the money away from America and America would listen. Because America only respects money, right or wrong? It's probably true. On the back of the dollar, it course, says in God we trust. But the God, the God we trust is money. I mean, money makes what? Us want to open, not us, but your president want to reopen the country. Right. It's not because of anything. COVID is going up, but money is going down. But I appreciate your time, though. It's good. We should be separate. I think segregation is healthy. Right. I think segregation is absolutely healthy. Now, I didn't say racism. I didn't say white supremacy, right. which is what you get in your head when you hear segregation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Chinese, Chinatown is separate. I think we should support and encourage learning and having areas where we can, we, we can uh, celebrate different cultures. Sometimes you can educate people yes. like us. Yeah, I think that's good. I well, don't, but I, when I hear about segregation, that to me says, you can't separate. be here because you're not you good enough. We stay here, we stay here. Yeah, I don't that's support part. that. You don't support that then? No. Okay. Not, not Okay, well, okay, at one time we were separate from your nation. We were separate from your race by force. Right? No, right here, yeah. after we picked your government and fought in your wars, yeah. we were socially not my separate. Words. Not my words. <laughs> well, you're American, right? You are too. No, I'm not. You're not American? No, I'm not. Oh, so. The, con the Constitution applies to you more than to me. That's what I mean, I'm not American. That's right. Uh, constitutionally. Another African American. African American man who is American, right? Mm -hmm. It would apply to him as well. No. But it should. It should. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I it doesn't. And that's why I'm that saying. That's what, when the Constitution was written, all men were created equal. Where were the slaves? I agree. 100%. Where were black people? On a plantation. Yeah. Considered yeah. property. Yeah. So how could it be? How could we both be American? We can't. But to your point, at one time we were separate from your society. Right? There was social distance and we were socially distanced for 400 years. Yeah. Like we're used to this shit you're going through now. Right. We, we've been socially distant. We know all about not being allowed in, in places with masks on and all that stuff. We already used to it. Our murder rate wasn't that high. There was literally no black on black ground. The black men wasn't filling up the prisons as much. The black society was better off not integrated with your society. Because really, integrating with your society means your society reigns supreme over us and we become your slaves. Right. So are you suggesting that you want to be like the Native Americans and have your own designated land? Not like the Native Americans because they don't have their own designated land. They didn't choose those lands. Right. No, they didn't choose them. Yeah. Have them. True. Okay, but they, they didn't choose those lands. That's like saying a prisoner has a room and a no. board and a, and a meal. He didn't choose that. That was forced upon him. This whole country belongs to them. It's funny you should bring them up. They didn't choose that. Your people murdered them and forced them to live in certain remote places. And the Native Indian Reservation today has one of the highest rates of suicide, the highest rates of alcoholism. They didn't have that before your people came. So then there is benefit to self-segregation. There is benefit to separation. Some of your society's ills, other nations cannot cope with. It's, it's, it's psychologically traumatic to us. Some of your society's ills, your ways of life, your cultures, is just not at all conducive to the growth of any other person. Because by nature, your society lives by the sword. That's in the Bible. Your society lives by the sword, you eat by the sword, you move by the sword. We should separate. If, we, if, if, your, if your police officers are not in our neighborhoods, there's no police shootings. Right or wrong? I don't know. Not oh, police shootings, maybe, because they're not there. Exactly. That's the point. If you want to end police brutality from white racist cops against unarmed black men, take them away. Easy. Right. Problem solved. It's so easy. Right or wrong? The normal to education is going to make you stop killing. I don't, I don't know, but I am hearing what you're saying. Like I'm thinking. Why you don't know? I don't know because we don't. We that's and that's why people are Native Americans. Because we, where we live, there's mm -hmm. a reservation right next to it. It's part of our community. So we're 
far more educated and aware. You should ask them how they feel about oh, your people being there. 100%. And how do they feel? But I don't know. But how do they feel about it, you being there? It depends on who you talk to. All, they all have different opinions. They all have different Just like our people. Yeah. Some of our people For will sure. say, yeah, but no, it's all saying. good. Like, we don't, I don't have exposure, a lot of exposure to the things that you're saying. So it's good to hear. Well, well that's the point I'm making that we need yeah. to separate. I think in this day and age, for somebody like yourself to say you don't have a lot of exposure to it. Uh -huh. It's really, it's not a cop and I'm not saying you're lying, but I think that's, that speaks volumes about the society, that you are so out of touch with the people who literally, the descendants of the people who literally built your country. You're so out of touch with it. Like, like white, America, white America could appreciate dogs, could appreciate whales, dolphins, but black people's problems, it's not a problem. Pull yourself up. We all have the same opportunity. We all do that. Margaret Sanger didn't design that for you. Right. right. No, I agree. Right? They Birth of a Nation. That movie wasn't designed Same to assassinate your crimes, character. Right? Right. Same thing with drug crimes, right? What do you mean by drug crimes? I, I feel like drug crimes were an attack on, well, it has been used in history for an attack on all sorts of different races. Opiates for Chinese. Different drugs to go after. Okay, you you kind of mixing it up. The opioids with the Chinese, they never had a problem. Oh, yeah, they yeah. did. Oh. They definitely had yeah, a problem. Sure. What was the problem? Uh, for opioid, opium dens. Yeah. Okay, opium dens, but, but they have Chinatown today and are better off than us. So what what's the problem? No, in, in history, mm -hmm. I think that that was an excuse for corrupt law enforcement to be able to oppress or in mass incarcerated. Yes. Yeah, but yes. that's that didn't affect them today. That's what I'm saying. That was not a problem. Every nation has drug abuse. Every single nation has drug abuse. Different types of drug abuse. What happened with us was a government conspiracy, the Iran Contra scandal. Which getting opioids, not opioid drugs and heroin from South America, selling from the streets of Harlem and Baltimore, taking the money, buying guns and funding the, the um, Iranians and Contra. It's now, they use that, used us as pawns. Show me any other nation that America did that to, that are in the condition we are in. I think they've done it to, not that, that are in the condition yeah, we are either. in. Yep. Show me any other nation that fills up the prison system at a right. ridiculous rate like us. Right. Show me one nation that has served America and America murders their men in the street like those. You would think white cops would murder Arabs the way they murder us right. after 9-11. You would think there would be one shooting of a white racist cop against an Arab. Why hasn't that happened? I'm going to tell you why. Your people have a perpetual hatred for Arabs. And it may not be physically expressed by every single one of you. That's what I'm saying. It may not be physically expressed by every single one of you. But your society, your culture, the structure you live in, you cannot enjoy America without America hating us. It's absolutely impossible. Name me one thing you enjoy about America. Anything. Sports? You like what they, you're a um, baseball fan, right? That's Wizards? Or you just wearing it? He's a, he's a baseball fan. No problem. Yeah. Baseball, basketball, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Without America oppressing black people into utter poverty, you would not have LeBron James. You wouldn't have Michael Jordan. You would not have Kobe Bryant. You wouldn't have the stars you have today. They all come from abject poverty. When Kobe Bryant was overseas, he's probably one of them. But most everybody else was poor from South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, somewhere, just trying to get out. And what? Now you can enjoy NBA. I love this game. You love this game. That's our life. The things you enjoy in America was built on the blood of slaves. That's right. So you may not have physical, personal hatred to us, but the society you enjoy, you can only enjoy America because America hates blacks so, and Hispanics. So that's what right. The, so what's the solution? That blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians separate from America. And what does that look like? Oh boy. In a perfect world. Yeah. Let's, let's get the Bible. Can I tell you what it looks like in the Bible? Give me Revelations 13, 9, and 10. It's funny that you asked that. Because you're, you're familiar with what Nick Cannon said recently? Nick Cannon. You know who Nick Cannon is? I know who he is. You know who he is, right? 
he, he said right. a few things. He said that white people are savages, uh, that they're animals. He also said that black people are the real Jews. And it is, it is impossible for black people to be anti-Semitic because we are actually not Ham, but we are the sons of Shem. And that's written in the Bible. We are not African. Africans and Negroes are two different people. Right. Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Here's the sun. This is the, this is the 12 tribes of Israel according to the Bible. Now you ask in the perfect world, what does separation look like? I'm about to read it for you. Read it again. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Right, that revelation means to reveal. It's going to reveal something to you that's not really known. Go ahead. If any man have an ear, let him hear. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. We all have ears. So it's not talking about your physical ear, meaning your spiritual ear to understand. If you can understand this, now listen. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? Leadeth into captivity. He that what? Leadeth into captivity. The Bible says, he that leadeth into captivity. Your, your people have led us into slavery. Right. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. That's right. He shall go into captivity. That's what the Bible says. Read yeah. again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's 50% of what it looks like. This is the other 50. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. He that what? Killeth with the sword. He that what? Killeth with the sword. Your people have murdered Native Indians for this land. Murdered thousands, millions of Native Indians for this land. Millions of my people. Right. And they're oppressing, you know, the juice out of us to build your empire. He that what? Killeth with the sword. Go ahead. Must. What? Must. What? Must. Maybe. Must. If we love each other. Must. If we integrate. Must. If they say sorry. Must. Go ahead. Be killed with the sword. That's what Jesus Christ said in the Bible. Right. That's in Revelations written in Red. That's right. That's, that's right. What, that's what a perfect world looks like. Right. You see, justice, like we, we marching up and down. You, you see how this country was up in arms for the last two months, marching for equal rights and justice. Real equality is if you serve us for 400 years. Right. Real equality is if you had to. But you ever heard of a laughing baron? You know that black people couldn't laugh in public historically. Right. That in cities and towns would have a barrel that you had to stick your head in because slave masters could not stand the sight of a happy black man. Right. Real equality is if you have to stick your head in a laughing barrel. Real equality is you picking cotton for 400 years. Right. Real equality is I've been able to take your boy and ship him to a plantation and you never see him again. Now we could be equal. Right. Because now I know what your forefathers felt and now you could feel what my foremothers felt. That's right. right. That's equality. That's right. Equality could never be, well now we're equal, we let you integrate. No. Right. Equality is you have the same amount as me. So if we've been disenfranchised for 400 years, Native Indians have been on reservations. If I come into your house and kill everybody and reserve you to the attic, and call that a reservation, take your name, and now, what's your last name? Doug, let's say your last name is Douglas. Now I'm Mr. Douglas. Right. And I open your mail and receive your check. Right. And take your woman. And tell your kids I'm their father. But you in the attic. The only way we could be equal is for that to happen to you. Right. That's equality in the Bible. That's right. The Bible is pure, unadulterated justice. That's right. You can agree with that or not? I mean, that's fair. I see you, I see you, I see you. I already see this shit. The Jews. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Which, which Jews are talking about? I spoke of them. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Jewish lineage in their blood. Like Jewish. Are, Jewish, like, another like another Benjamin, not to Yahoo, Jewish? religion that the people who have Okay, so give me an example of somebody who you're talking about today. You know who Benjamin Netanyahu is, the head of state of Israel? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or the people who go to the synagogue on 69. You're talking about Jewish like that. Yeah, the culture, not the religion. I understand. Well, Jewish, ish is a suffix that means to be like. Like, his shirt might be blue or oh, Jewish. Jewish. Like the actual, authentic Jew. Yes. But well, where, the act, where do they fit? No problem. Jew is actually short for Judah. Right. Yeah. Who is the fourth born son of Israel. Yeah. Right. He's the head tribe. Jew is not the entire people. You ask somebody from Israel today what tribe they're from, they don't say Kohen. There's no Kohen tribe in the Bible. Right. There's 12 tribes. Judah is the, head, is the head tribe. That's one tribe. Judah in the Bible, according to the Bible of the so-called Negro in America, the African American. Right. He's the real Jew. The Bible says the Jews are black. Have you ever seen that before? 
No? Read. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. Bible says who? Judah mourning. Bible says Judah mourning. Meaning the Jews would be in mourning. Right. Are the, Jew, are the Jewish people in mourning today? No. They have their own country. They have Holocaust museums. They get billions of dollars from America and Germany every year. Right. They have a dome. They have some called the Iron Dome, where missiles can't even enter into them. They have a defense mechanism for them. The real Jews are in mourning in the ghettos in Southeast DC. Right. Southside Chicago. Right. The real Jews would be in mourning today. Go ahead, they'll be sad. And the gates thereof language. Gates. Gates is something you put around your house for protection. To right. keep whatever in and whatever out. Even in America's law, if you don't have a gate, somebody could walk onto your property because there's nothing telling them to stay out. A gate is your protection. The protection of a people are their leadership. Right. The Jewish people have a strong leadership. They're so strong, Nick Cannon lost his career. Deshaun Jackson had to apologize. Well, who's the other one? Ice Cube. Ice Cube had to apologize. You speak out against Jewish people, their leadership will attack you and annihilate you. Right. Black people don't have a leadership to do. Anything happens to us and we have to put ice on it. We just have to take it on the chin and keep moving. The Bible says, read it from the top. Judah mourned. Yeah, the Jews will be sad. And the gates thereof language. And we will have no leadership. They are black. They are what? Black. They are what? Black. They are what? Black. Spellers. B L A C K. They are what? Black. Go ahead. Unto the ground. The Bible says the Jews are black unto the ground. That's right. And the Hebrew is kodala aratiza, meaning dark like unto the earth. Right. You think of the earth as many different shades of brown. This brother here is a lighter shade of brown. I'm very dark. This brother here is very dark. They're very light skinned brothers. Different shades of brown, not your complexion. The real Jews are black people. Right. And the Jewish nation that lives in America and worldwide detest that whole idea because they reject this. Right. The Bible prophesies slavery happening. Right. That we were going to ships. That's in here. It says ships and sold naked to slave masters. If the Bible could prophesy slavery, where's the Holocaust in here? Where is it? It's not in here. So why is the Holocaust the, the linchpin of Jewish argument and not slavery in Egypt or the other slavery prophesied in Deuteronomy? The real Jews are black people. That's right. Like, it's going to be a sad day when you all really realize who you are been murdering. You all really been murdering, not you personally, but your nation of people been murdering the real Jews. That's right. God's chosen people. God's, and God said, there is no remission of sins without bloodshed. That's right. It's not going to be murder. It's not going to be a lynching. It's going to be judgment. Right. There's going to be a court when Christ returns. And he's going to charge the wicked of this earth. That's right. Every, you're going to have to answer as a nation. Give me Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter. You're going to have to answer a na as a nation for what your forefathers did. And that's the sad reality of it. Somebody has to pay for Native Indian girls who got raped right. and buried in the middle of the desert. Somebody has to pay for that. Right. Shouldn't somebody pay if somebody rapes your children? Right. Yeah. All right. And what if it's a system that raped them? What if it's a system that allows people to go in and rape, discard, and not be uh, at all punished? I think That's true, but if there's a system telling you, just like there was a system telling your people that you could take my people and put them in slavery, that was a legitimate system. Right. That had to be punished, and everybody within that system. So, but what about, like... Dutch Antilles or the Netherlands Antilles? I know you have it. The Dutch Antilles, anybody could pull this up on their phone, is a Caribbean island or chain of islands that the Dutch colonized and were very brutal to the native people down there and used the, the, those chain of islands and the slaves to build the wealth of Holland. You are um, familiar with football? What Dutch people call football? Patrick Clive, where's his parents from? 
you don't know. You know he's black though, right? Uh, I'm not into sports. You're not into sports. I understand because you're enjoying the empire so much, you don't even understand. Every European empire on the earth benefited off of slavery. Slavery was like oil today. Like the world can't run without oil. Back then, it couldn't run without the slaves of the transatlantic slave trade. Right. So there's nobody exempt. Right. There's no exemption from this. The entire world benefited from what happened to blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians here. Yes, because, yes, because Africans, no, I just told you, Negroes are not Africans. Right. Africans sold us into slavery. Right. We are a separate people. Don't you notice when Africans come over here, they don't mix with us? Africans get closer to your people than here. My dad was born and raised in Africa, and we have family. But, but you are not an African. You, you, your, your people are, I'm talking about the race, not the land. Because if your dad was born on Mars, would he be a Martian? I no. Grew up in that but he would not be a Martian. He would, he would be a white man. Let me just, let me just give you this. Give me Isaiah 14 and 20. Look out Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter. Say it again. Prepare slaughter. Go ahead. For his children. Uh -huh. For the iniquity of their father. Go ahead. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So you can't say you didn't do anything. The Bible says prepare slaughter for the children. Not for anything you did but for the iniquity of your forefathers. Right. Why? So you do not rise up and possess the land and fill the earth with city. Right. Your culture is very sinful according to the law. Yeah. It's oh, against yeah. the law. Yeah. That's, you know, that's understandable. And this slaughter here, we're not going to slaughter anybody. We can't do it. We are forbid to, to lay a hand on any white person. The, the people of this school, the Israelite school that you prepare according to the Bible, Christ is the one who's going to kill you. That's right. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. And he ain't coming back for hugs and kisses. He is coming back to cut heads off and bathe the streets in your blood. That's right. The Bible says his vesture will be dipped in blood. It says the blood will rise up to the horse's bridles. That's right. You know how tall the horse is? That's in Revelation. You can go look it up. You know why? It's not because of the color of your skin or your eyes or anything. It's because of the crimes of your forefathers. That's right. Now, if, if you say you're an individual, I could show you what individual you could do in the Bible. Yeah. But I don't think you want to do it. Yeah, I know that. We, we gotta go. We gotta go. Thank, I understand. thank you so much. God bless you guys. I, I appreciate your blessing. But in, in the kingdom, we won't have this type of dialogue. Right. In the kingdom, you're going to have to get in there and pick thank that you. cup. That's right. You got to okay. pick that cotton, boy. That's right. Pick that cotton, boy. You're going to have to go in there and pick that cotton. That's right. And any children you have, I am selling into slavery. That's right. When Christ returns. That's right. Because when Christ returns, this kingdom needs to perish. That's right. This kingdom needs to burn. This kingdom needs to be laid waste. That's because right. Because this kingdom was built on sin. It was built on filth and murder and rape right. and robbery. The, the, the joys of this kingdom was built on murder of my people. Four mothers and four fathers hanging from trees. Rape of babies, right. feeding babies to alligators. So don't come up here and tell me about you're an individual. The slaves were individuals too. Right. And we all got whipped. Right. We all got set on fire. We all got hung from trees. That's right. Now it's your goddamn turn. That's right. You ain't rushing the line for that though. Right. Ain't no white privilege for that though. Right. Now you want affirmative action for white people. In that day, you are going to be whipped and walk like a dog. That's right. And that's justice from the most high power. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Get up, have a hand, man. No sweat, sir. Give him a hand, man. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With
send them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No calling can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.